Hey guys, what's going on? So we got a pretty big fight coming up at UFC 300. The main card being between the two lightweights, Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill, both at 205 pounds. Both pretty heavily stand-up guys, so I think it'll make for a really captivating fight. Even though both of them have their brown belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, just their styles are all standing up, so it's going to be pretty much a striking battle. Alex Pereira has a really big left hook, but he is orthodox. But you also have Jamal Hill, who has really heavy hands and is a southpaw, so that's why I think he'll give Pereira a little bit of trouble there. Um, and then some notable wins, starting with Jamal Hill. Last fight beat Glover Tixera, which is now Alex Pereira's coach. So I think that will be a little bit more in Alex's favor because he will have that inside scoop on what it's like to face Jamal Hill, but also beat Thiago Santos and Walker. And then for Alex Pereira, big wins recently against Sean Strickland. Israel Adesanya and then moving up to light heavyweight beating both Jan and Yuri and he has became the champion at two divisions pretty quickly which I think is really impressive so he has a lot of momentum and then going back to their fighting styles I believe for both of them they don't have any sort of takedown attempts obviously given Pereira's kickboxing background he doesn't really have as much experience with grappling did lose his first mixed martial arts fight to a grappler but since then he's really perfected his takedown defense Hill also does a lot of stand-up he also doesn't have any takedown attempts that I know of since fighting in the Dana White contender series so I think most likely looking at this from a general standpoint I don't think there is going to be a decision so just going to play through some different scenarios that I think could happen for the fight I think they're both going to come out fairly aggressive a lot of punches being thrown I think early on Alex Pereira is really going to try to establish his kicks but I don't think this is going to be as effective against someone like Jamal Hill because he is a southpaw. Usually leg or calf kicks are a lot better when you're facing someone that has the same stance as you just because that leg's sticking out. Uh, so it's going to be harder for him to wrap around. But I have seen in the few guys that Pereira's faced that have switched over to southpaw a little bit. He has then gone for that shoulder since that strong hand left shoulder is a little bit more vulnerable when a southpaw is standing against an orthodox. So I think he'll transition into that. And I think that could have a huge effect on the fight because it could kind of slow down Hill's big left hand. And then looking at Hill's early tendencies, he really likes to walk forward. Both guys can end it pretty early, so I think it's one of those things where you can't really look away. Hill's probably going to press forward. I don't know if this is going to be a good strategy against someone like Alex Pereira because he is such a good counterpuncher and has really caught a lot of guys trying to come forward on him. So I think kind of how all of this plays out is really where the difference is going to make in the fight. And this leads to some big questions such as how will Alex Pereira's chin hold up? Obviously the knockout loss against Israel Adesanya. And he has kind of left his chin exposed recently such as in the last Yuri fight. I think a lot of those punches he got hit with if they were a little bit heavier could have taken him out of it. So looking at someone like Jamal Hill are some of those heavy punches that he has landed in the past. Could they possibly put Alex Pereira out in some of these exchanges but also kind of playing devil's advocate here. What will uh, Jamal Hill's chin look like? I don't really see a lot of instances of him getting hurt in his track record but also hasn't faced a whole lot of competition so I think him against someone like Alex Pereira I think he's gonna have a lot tougher test even though he is probably one of the harder stylistic matchups for Alex Pereira 
And then I think the third question here, which is going to be the most important, is how will Jamal Hill's inactivity play a factor in this fight? Because he is coming off a leg injury tore his left Achilles tendon, I believe. He's been out of it for a little over a year. So I think that's going to play a big factor in this fight as well. Just looking at the odds, Pereira is the favorite in this fight, but not by a whole lot. Looking at the odds and converting them to percentages, he has about a 60% favorability of winning, but Jamal Hill has a 40% chance of winning. I'd mostly agree with this for several reasons. Looking at the most likely outcome, Alex Pereira winning, how I see this playing out would be round one, even though they're both mostly aggressive, I think they're just going to feel each other out, kind of see what the distance is like, try to establish some sort of distance. I think this is where Pereira is going to experiment with a lot of his kicks. And I think a little bit of a misconception here is that since Hill's coming off a leg injury and Pereira is really good at these leg kicks early in the fight to really reduce mobility on his opponent really hurt that leg but it is his left leg so it's going to be pretty protected and again since he's going to be working out of southpaw i don't think it's his kicks are really going to be that effective here so i don't think that specifically will play a role in the fight and then you know not going to be a whole lot of success there so i think in round two once hill kind of realizes that Pereira is not going to be able to land those leg kicks as well. I think Hill's going to start walking forward, but he's going to be met with those heavy counter punches by Pereira. I think he's going to feel a lot of power there, and that's going to leave him a little bit more hesitant in the fight. So I think that's why in round three, that's going to open up an opportunity for Pereira to finish him. I think he's just going to kind of overwhelm him. Again, haven't seen Hill get hurt. He seems pretty durable, but I think some sort of a referee stoppage or a TKO is the most likely impact here. Could maybe see Hill doing a desperation takedown, even though he's not that much of a grappler. If things aren't going his way, he might try and shift the tide. But I think that's only going to work against him because Pereira can throw a flying knee, can catch him coming in, or if he gets desperate, starts to swing wildly. In some instances in the past, he has really been able to beat guys to the punch. I don't think he's going to be able to do that against someone like Pereira because he's really short and snappy. So I think around round three is when Pereira would likely finish him. Again, playing devil's advocate, looking at another option here. This would be how I think Hill could win. Starting with round one, both are probably going to feel each other out. Kicks are probably going to be ineffective due to that southpaw stance. Round two, I could see Pereira landing some counter punches when Hill tries to walk forward. But I think if Hill is able to counter a little bit, don't know how his heavy punches will face against someone like Alex Pereira. And especially if he does drop him, Hill has a really good ground and pound. So I think Hill could really put him out quickly if Pereira got hurt by something and fell down. Also has really good knees if they end up clinching. So I think it really could turn at any moment and Hill could definitely be a successful underdog. So I could see... Pereira really getting hurt in round three, and even if he survives that, I think with Hill's rust, he's maybe not as sharp, maybe not as powerful, maybe doesn't have as much timing, so Pereira might be able to survive, but I think he'd be so hurt that by round four, Hill could finish him, so this is how I would see Hill maybe winning this fight, and again, these are the two likely scenarios, don't see it going to the judges. Again, comparing both of these to the odds, I would bump up a little bit more than what the odds are at. I would say Pereira or option one is about a 65% chance with option two I just laid out being about a 35% chance. And again, going back to those big questions being uh, how will Pereira's chin hold up? I think it will likely hold up because 
Jamal Hill's timing's going to be off. He's not going to land as much as he has in the past. So I don't think um, he'll really be able to connect with Pereira, just given that he's been out of it for so long. And then how will Hill's chin hold up? He is a pretty durable fighter, but I think you can only get hit so many times, no matter who you are. And just given his competition, I don't think he's faced someone like Pereira, especially with all the momentum that Pereira has recently, all the recent activity that he has. So I think that's really going to make a huge factor. And just looking at some dates here, his last fight was in January of 2023. So pretty heavy layoff there for Hill. And then you look at his last knockout coming in August of 2022. So, I mean, you look at this, I think it's just overwhelming that Hill isn't going to be as sharp as he usually is. And then looking at uh, the third question, how will Hill's, again, inactivity play a factor in this fight? I think it's going to be very significant because after his surgery, he was in a boot, wasn't able to do even any sort of pad work or anything like that. So I really think all of his muscle memory is going to be a little bit gone. I mean, obviously, he's still a professional fighter, still has a really good chance of winning this fight. But compared to where he was before the injury, I think there is going to be a difference there. If his Achilles injury never happened and he was pretty active leading up to this fight, I would probably would say it's about a 50-50 chance uh, between these two guys. Maybe I would even favor Hill a little bit. But I think that injury and that layoff is what is going to make the difference here. And those punches that would have landed from Hill aren't going to land, aren't going to connect as much. And then the punches from Pereira are really going to hit and do some damage. I think Pereira is going to hang on to the belt for now. But feel free to let me know how you guys think this is going to play out. Really interested to see this fight. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.